Planning a photo shoot can be super overwhelming, especially when you're just starting out. So today we're going through my five tips for planning any photo shoot and they're all cost friendly. Right, Joelle? Right, Lizzie. Let's do it. Theme. Coming up with a creative direction for your shoot is the best place to start. I like to pull images from Pinterest that inspire me in some way. I write a little about what it is I like from that photo, maybe some pose ideas, colors, anything at all that gets you inspired and gives you some creative ideas. I build my mood boards using Milanote, which is basically a freeform canvas to help you visualize and organize your projects. I start by using their built-in photo shoot template to keep all my info in one place, including the mood board, contact info for everyone involved in the shoot, location info, a schedule, and a gear list, just to name a few. It's super easy for team members to pop on and leave a comment, and it has a mobile app so I can access it on set. Location. Look online for suggestions through different articles, forums, or try to backtrack a location based on a photo you found online. I like to use Google Maps Street View and comb through an area to try and find an interesting location. But at the end of the day, the best thing you can do is always physically survey the location yourself. A good way to keep things budget friendly is to use public outdoor spaces like parks and green spaces or trails like we're in right now. Another great option would be to use different streets or alleyways or any open field really. Sometimes locations like apple orchards or lavender fields require a bit of money for either admission or the purchase of their product, but that's a super low cost compared to a full location rental. If you do require a studio rental, locations like Mint Room and Loft in Toronto offer bookings by the hour. For this location, for example, the total cost is just under $100 for one hour. It just goes to show that it is possible to book an in-studio shoot fairly inexpensively. Team. For a budget-friendly shoot, chances are you may not have the funds to pay for a model, makeup artist, wardrobe, or an assistant. In this scenario, make the shoot a collaboration with other artists and give them the freedom to create something unique for their portfolio. Allow them to provide their input and provide them with all the finished photos afterwards. Offering to pay for transportation and meals is always appreciated as well. If you don't know anyone for a specific job, don't be afraid to ask friends or even reach out through Instagram DMs. This is pretty common now, so don't be nervous. It's good to build a new network. Gear and props. Don't own it, borrow it or rent it. Or you can get creative with different add-ons and props like crystals or flowers or ribbon, for example. And that'll just give your photos a bit of a different look. I borrowed entire camera kits from friends when I couldn't afford them. I paid them back in gifts and whatever trades I could afford. Sometimes payment was my help on their own shoots. Photo sharing. Storage and file sharing can be expensive. If you're not ready to commit to paying for a Google Drive or Dropbox subscription just yet, then send your files through WeTransfer for free. With the pro plan, you can keep all the final photos from the shoot in Milano. That way you and the rest of the team always have access to them and they're kept alongside all your original planning materials. Staying organized and keeping files stored together will really help you in the long run. Hope you all enjoyed this video and seeing the behind the scenes of this shoot. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.